everybody. Um, this is my weekly vlog number. Oh, are we number four? I'm not sure. I'm number three or number four. I think we're number four. I am a day late with it. Um, I wanted to uh, get Alicia's bag all done so I could show it today to everybody. Um, it's been a crazy week. Uh, I've been so incredibly busy. I'm not too sure exactly doing what. Um, yeah, I've just, I've just been busy. It just seems like something's always going on and there's something to get done and there's dogs to walk and groceries to buy and it's just been super hectic. So um, I was one bag shy of uh, making my goal for last week, but I did make an extra top. That was too selfish so, so maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I was waiting on hardware. So I guess at the same time, it was okay. Anyways, this is one of the tops I made. I'm actually seeing it in the camera and realizing I need a thinner bra, but it's the uh, cold shoulder tunic. So I actually kind of like it. I'm not a tank top person, but in the summertime, sometimes you want to be able to show stuff, but I think I made it a little bit too big for me, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely need a... a a thinner bra here because you can see my bra there but I think it's okay but it's like I don't think you can even see it's really super super cute um great to wear with with uh crazy tights or whatever but yeah, I think I might make myself another one this one was a practice one to uh make it just a smidgen smaller and maybe a little flurrier in the the tummy region because that's my insecure spot but otherwise I, I really like it it's very different from what I usually wear but I think I think it turned out okay. The other thing is, it's right here. I love this tunic, it's so nice. Um, it's a little bit too short for me to wear as a dress because I am turning 45 on Friday and I don't think I could get away with wearing a mini skirt anymore. But I am going to wear this with some, uh, some uh, legging capris. I'm actually debating making some, no, I probably won't. I'll just wear the black ones with this one. But this dress, um, it's the Sweetie Pie tunic dress. I have decided that I will make and sell these. I actually have two of these on order already in this exact same fabric. And then I am also making my mom one for Mother's Day. She chose out this really cute fabric. I show you the fabric, but it's actually in the dryer right now. So I'm not gonna show you the new fabrics I got. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll be able to see some of the fabrics that I bought. I'm gonna practice making um, my boys some hoodies and some t-shirts. Uh, my sister-in-law wants a yoga top. Um, I missed my brother's birthday, so I want to maybe possibly make him something. We will see. We will see. Now that I've told him what I've gotten him for his birthday, I'm probably going to make him something. I am rocking 90s hair. I haven't worn my hair like this probably since high school. I said I'm turning 45. That was a long time ago. But... I just wanted to throw myself together so I could get on and do this vlog and show you everything because I'm already, I mean, I usually do my vlog on Sunday or Monday. It's Tuesday. I'm a day behind. So I thought I may as well sneak in now. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you, oh, this. I treated myself to some more quirk. Um, I probably need to stop treating myself to stuff. I mean, we are all get off from work, but... I am going to make myself the most amazing, amazing diamond clutch wallet with this cork. I have enough that if anybody else wants to order one, they can go on the wait list that I have going and they can order some of this. I actually might make a purse out of it too. It's just, when I saw it, I couldn't pass it up, but it's just so gorgeous. I just love it. Anyways, that was my splurge for this week as I made myself this top. I bought myself this cork online. Um, yeah, oh, and then some more fabric to make some more summer clothes. But that that's because I do need summer clothes. All my clothes, as I've lost weight, are too big. So I'm attempting to make the rest of my summer wardrobe and maybe some of my fall wardrobe. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm rocking clothes that I've made myself. This one's too big. Rocking my hair like it's 1993 and I'm in grade 12 again. But that's okay. Hopefully it looks okay. It's really big, but I love it. Anyways, I did manage to get done the Molly bag. This is Alicia's Molly bag. 
I just finished this today, so I was I had to get ready. I actually uh, I wasn't dressed all day. I didn't do my hair, so now I just threw on some makeup and some clothes and my hair up like this because I was just so excited I had to show this. This is the first Molly bag that I have made. I actually made a YouTube tutorial to go along with it. So I'm going to edit that today and get that up on my YouTube channel as well because this is amazing. Amazing. It's a Shambhala bag. Um, she's the Shambhala. She also makes um, like the Pandora bag. I've got a couple of those. Um, I can't remember. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just amused with how wonderful this bag turned out. So, um, yeah, I special ordered this camel colored vinyl for Alicia. She had a specific idea in mind that she wanted for it. So we went for the hunt and we found it and we found it on sale. So I was super duper excited. So you can see it kind of actually has the same shape as a, a Pandora bag on the side, bottom. It is a soft bag. It's not a stiff bag. So yeah, you it stands up on its own perfectly fine, but it is a squishier bag. Um, I put on my fancy bling bling hardware here. You lift up this, I mean, look how perfect that fits in there. I'm just so proud of myself. It's closed by magnetic snaps and then inside. Now this bag usually only comes with the one zipper pocket, but Alicia requested to have uh, two slip pockets on each side and two zipper pockets on each side. So I did that for her. But it's just, it's just amazing. I tried my hand for the first time at making my own piping. Um, I made this piping out of vinyl, which with my domestic machine, I never would have been able to do that, but my industrial, I could. I have never made piping before. I was nervous about it, but I honestly think going on, I am going forward, I'm going to always make my own because the vinyl piping just add so much more class and sophistication to the bag that I just, I'm just overjoyed with how Alicia's bag turned out. So um, yeah, I'll have to get this to her this week before I want to keep it for myself because it actually kind of goes pretty good with my new top too, doesn't it? Hey Alicia, can I have your bag? <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it turned out really, really good. Um, the other bag I got done um, was Joan's Trailblazer bag. It was actually done in the same fabric, see? So they do have similar tastes. So again, it's another trailblazer bag. I don't have the backpack um, straps on right now. They're inside the bag, but you guys have seen many of these trailblazer bags already. Um, so yeah, this one will be going off to Joan. Um, get an amazing bag. I have two more of these that I have to get made within the next week and a half. Um, they're the most popular bag, I swear. Open it up for you here. Perfect. The only difference I did with Jones was she wanted to be able to slip it onto a suitcase. So I left this open so it can slide over the handle of her suitcase. But it just turned out lovely with the antique brass hardware and the leopard print and the chocolate brown vinyl. I mean, these bags are, I think they look pretty darn good. I think they look pretty uh, professional. I'm just, I'm loving them. So yeah, I would say we're over the leopard print right now, but we're not. I am actually, my next bag's to be made. Um, I have two bags to be making for Julie this week. Um, one is another new bag um, called the uh, Snowdrop, called the Snowdrop. Yeah, it's called the Snowdrop Bag. So I'm making that for her. And she's actually doing that in a gray, um, a gray, uh, a gray leopard print. So that'll be done probably within the next couple days, I hope. And then she also has a trailblazer on order. Very similar to one I have for myself, which is that rose gold um, and black fabric. And so, and then both of those will be going off to her. I think she's got a matching wallet with the trailblazer as well. So. That's my goal for this week is to get those two bags. This is a trailblazer. It does take two and a half to three days for me to get done um, with everything going on and everything. So yeah, there's a million and a gazillion pieces and tons of hardware that need to be attached to it. So they do take me a little more time to do. But yeah, so the Molly bag, I will have prices for the Molly bag online soon. I think it's going to be, um, I think this one's gonna be $165 
pretty bit similar. Um, don't quote me on that. I got to figure out all my pricing and everything because, uh, yeah, this was the first one that I made. So she's getting my tester bag. Lucky Alicia gets my tester bag. Um, yeah. So besides that, uh, what else do I have to do this week? I am also going to be doing, um, I'm going to make myself. So my bet, uh, my goals, those two bags to be done, um, with, stress and everything being on, I'm really trying to, I'm, I'm finding the joy in my sewing. So I am really enjoying starting to make the garments. I'm, I'm, I am learning. They said, if you want to buy this dress, it's starting or this style of dress, they start at $70 based on the fabric, which is a stretch knit cotton. Like it's, it's slinky. Um, at $11 a meter. And if you choose a fabric that's more then I just add whatever extra that fabric would be. So I don't make any more money in myself. Um, I have what I, what I make out of it. It's just if the fabric goes higher and, um, I, my knits right now, I am ordering in from the States. They do take a while to get here and I try to order them all at once because I do have to pay for the shipping as well on those. So if anybody wants a sweetie pie dress, I've mastered these. They're fantastic. I love mine. I'm actually going to wear this for my birthday on Saturday. Um, I am pleased to announce that Camlet's lifted um, some of the isolation. Please ignore my dogs in the background. Um, we are now allowed to have uh, backyard and driveway visits. So as long as you're keeping a social distance. So I said I have only seen my parents once over the last eight weeks. Um, my mom and I always spend every one of my birthdays together. The only ones that we never spent together were the ones when I was living in Winnipeg for those three years. Otherwise, every one of my birthdays I've spent with my mom, we usually go clothes shopping. She usually buys me clothes for my, my birthday. Maybe she'll just give me some money to buy fabric so I can make me some clothes. I don't know. We'll see. And, um, uh, yeah. So anyways, not Friday, but Saturday. Um, both my boys are off work and cause they are both working. One works at McDonald's and one, um, works as a care aide at a senior's home. So, uh, my parents haven't seen their, their only two grandkids in quite a while. So we're going to go over there for birthday pizza. We're going to order pizza and we are still going to keep our distance from each other, but we're going to have a good visit. And uh, I'm really, that's the best birthday present I think I could ask for. I think it's going to be awesome. And I'm really looking forward to that. So that's my weekend. Uh, Friday night is May 1st is my actual birthday and my husband and I, I get to choose the movie and usually on my birthday for lunch, we go to Kelly O'Brien's, which is like my favorite, uh, one of my favorite restaurants here in Kamloops. I get my, sounds funny, but they're, they're called chicken lips, but they're like chicken fingers and pacho fries with Emerald Isle sauce. We're going to order in and we're going to get it here because they're doing delivery right now. So that birthday tradition is still going to happen. Um, and then Saturday over to my parents' place. So I'm super excited for that. It's an outing. I'm, I'm really happy about it. So yeah, so this week I'm hoping to make myself a new, uh, a new maxi dress, a high-low one. So it's a little higher in the front and long in the back. Um, so that's my selfish sew for this week. Um, once I get Julie's two bags done, I'm hopeful that I can sneak in um, my mom's Mother's Day present, which she's already chosen. She wants one of these and she's got it in this really, actually the blue is similar to the blue of the flowers here, but it's got black cats all over it. So I think it's going to be super cute. And then next week I am on to uh, Sheena's bag, I believe. Oh, my thing's over there. Yeah, I got Sheena's trailblazer bag and her diamond clutch wallet to make. And she also has a day trip wallet on order um, for her sister Mandy, but uh, that fabric hasn't arrived yet from a spoon fly flower. Neither has Mary's, which she's getting a small nor doctor bag. So um, it looks like they've been printed. It just hasn't been shipped yet. So I'm hoping it'll be here soon. So the delay in, in those orders is mainly because I'm still waiting on the fabrics because Spoonflower is uh, running about three weeks behind. I placed the order about over a month ago for those fabrics. So hopefully soon it'll be here and then I'll get them made and everything will be grand. And then after, and I have Selena's uh, uh, necessary clutch wallet, which I will be doing in there probably after I'm done Sheena's 
Trailblazer bag and Dan Clutch wallet, which I will take to her even though her day trip wallet will not be done. So yeah, um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, and I have Carol's got a, a, uh, a cellmate wallet, which I will, or cellmate a crossbody, which I will sneak in there as well. So those are just smaller projects that will get done. Um, come mid-May, I have no more bag orders to do. So yeah, I only, I'm starting to get down to the last little bit, but I'm really excited to get everybody's bags done. Um, I'm excited to maybe practice making some new bags. I'm excited to make myself a new wallet out of this cork because I actually don't make myself very many things. I only have three purses myself. I really need to make some more. And then of course, getting my, my new summer wardrobe made. So um, I'm busy, keeping myself busy, lots of sewing. Um, wait list wise, oh, if everybody uh, who is on my wait, wait list, I think I'm up to 16 people now. Some of those people have multiple bags that they want to order. If everybody, who's on that list is actually committed to what they want to get. Um, depending when this whole COVID thing lifts, I could be booked to pretty close to Christmas. Um, say if we open in June or July again, I'm pretty sure I'm booked to October. So that's absolutely fantastic. So if you do want to get in um, for some bags for Christmas, please message me so I can put you on that contact list because I'm going down first come first serve and, and I will call that first person, find out what they want, take their orders, plan their bags and put them in for their spots. Um, so yeah, don't, don't snooze, get on the wait list. You don't necessarily have to commit to it. Um, I'd like you to commit to it, but uh, no, we don't know where we're going to be. But if you have an idea that you're going to want to get a bag or two, please, uh, please get on the wait list. So we go, because as I go down the list, if I get to the last three or four people and I don't have time to get those done before Christmas, um, I will be offering to do them into the new year. So um, get on the list because I will take in as many bags as I possibly can to get made. Um, I said I'm also doing some dresses. There's some dress orders. Those two dresses that I have on order I will actually be doing at the end of May because I don't have any bag orders and I do have the fabric. They're in this fabric so um, I will be getting those uh, done. I'm really excited about that actually that somebody wants to buy my dresses. They turned out great. Um, exciting news in the studio. So in my studio is very small as you can see. Um, my serger and my sewing machine that I do my garment sewing on, I don't have a table for them right now. I have to bring them out and put them on my cutting table or what have you. So went out and bought two smaller tables. I'm going to move the ironing board into the laundry area. So I have to do my ironing there and I have a storage container and a little table there. So those are going to move out put those other two in and then I will have a u-shaped working space so I'm trying to make the best of this but it'll be great to have all my machines set up and not have to take them up and down as I need them um besides that nothing much to report uh our Marvel movie challenge we just finished what movie did we just finish oh we just finished Spider-Man Homecoming so this week you know, we got through Black Panther, we got through both the Guardians of the Galaxies, which I love, um, and Ant-Man, I think. So there was a lot of movies. Tonight, I don't know what movie we're on, but we're watching one tonight. My husband's making a pork loin. He's the best cook in the world. He's making a pork loin, mashed potatoes and all that, and we're watching more superhero movies, so <laughs> that's okay. I need suggestions on what movie series we can do after this, because I get to choose them, so... Um, besides that, nothing much going on. My mother-in-law's birthday is the day before mine. Uh, she's not on the internet, but I'll say now, happy birthday, mom. Mom, Hilda. <laughs> um, she will be turning, if I'm turning 45, she's turning 75. So we're almost birthday twins there, but I want to put a shout out to my mother-in-law to say happy birthday to her. Cause I don't think we will be seeing her. Um, yeah, 
that's it. That's all for my vlog this week. I'll try to be on time next week. Um, hopefully for Sunday or Monday, I'll get the vlog on. Um, watch my YouTube channel if you want to see how Alicia's bag came together. You'll see pretty much from start to finish just the sewing, not the cutting of the fabric, because that's no fun to watch. But yeah, if you want to see how this beautiful bag came together, I'm actually thinking I might make myself one. This is just not exactly like this, but this style is just just in love with it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. Um, enjoy the sunshine, plant your garden, keep staying in, stay healthy, and I will talk to everybody soon. Have a great night, everybody. Love you. Bye-bye.